Hello and welcome to another video and today I'm going to take you on a full walkthrough of the Morsi app. So I have my phone here, I'm literally going to screen record and just go through the entire app so you can see exactly how it works, all of the features and all of the content in the app. Now, if you're unaware, the Morsi app is my own fit. I say it's mine, I mean we have a team, right? So my wife says, my brother Ben, we have a whole team of developers and marketing people that help us out with the app. We built it, we started it over a year ago now. We've had over 150,000 users across the world. It's been mad, the response has been like literally, you know, mind blowing. Averaging like 4.7, 4.8 in App Store reviews. It's yeah, it's just been going very, very well. A quick bit of context as to like why we started the app, like why did we build the app? So everyone goes to the gym, right? Like most of you guys watch the video now probably go to the gym or you, you know, you train at home. You train in some ways, my point, right? But a lot of you, I would imagine, don't have an actual structured training program. Maybe you have something you kind of chuck together. I think a lot of people just kind of go to the gym and just blag their way through a workout. Now, if that's you, to be honest, you're kind of wasting your time, right? You need to have a structured training program, which is periodized, which guides you through, you know, a list of exercises you do over a period of time and progress in a certain way. Otherwise, you know, you can make some progress, but you, you're you gonna achieve, you know, it's gonna take you like a year to achieve what someone else on a good plan could achieve in say three months, right? So it's really, really important. On top of that, your diet plan, right? Like if you are, if you, ha everyone has some kind of goal in terms of their physique, right? Whether you, whether that's, you know, losing fat or building muscle. Again, if that is you, if you have some aspirations in terms of changing the way you look, you have to be aware, you have to be tracking to some extent what you are eating, right? If you have no idea how many calories, how much protein you're eating, how can you possibly expect to hit your goals in terms of your physique? And that is where the Morsi app comes in, right? We will build you a fully customized training program, a fully customized diet plan that, that are built specifically for you and your needs and your goals and we will guide you through the whole process and more importantly we'll explain to you how it's working so you can do it yourself you're not so reliant on someone else telling you what to do anyway enough talking let's get into the app right so i'm screaming on my phone right now there it is this is weird this was like an enormous invasion of my privacy but let's open the app uh, by the way whilst i'm going through this if at any point you think oh that's quite luck to give it a go at the top of the description under this video there will be a link to the morsi app you can go and try it you can use it for a week completely unrestricted and it's completely free okay so if you don't like it you can cancel there's no strings attached it costs you nothing we are in so let's start on the plans page now bear in mind i've already set up my own kind of user right when you but when you join when you sign up to the app and you join the team we ask you a whole load of questions to get as much information out of you as we can. So things like your age, your gender, your training experience, where you train, what equipment you have, you know, how many days you want to train, how much time you want to be in the gym for, all that stuff. So we can build the most, you know, customized plan, diet plan and training plan for you and your needs. Once we've done that, we will recommend a group of plans. So we'll say, for example, you know, obviously if you want to build muscle, we're going to recommend the, the build muscle plans, right? Within that, you choose a specific plan um, and then we'll customize that plan to suit you and your goals, all right? So if we scroll through the plans now, you can see I've put them into sections just to make it super simple, right? So we have build muscle, we then have lose fat, we then have get stronger, right? So everyone is gonna fall into one of those categories. The only exception would be if you are a sports person or you know looking to improve performance, but even if that's you, get stronger, that kind of crosses over there, right? That is performance-based. We then below that we have train with us. So these are the plans that are our own specific plans. So you can literally train like us. So you've got my own powerlifting plan, my bodybuilding plan, we've got Ben's plan, and then we've got Sears's plan. So if you wanna you know, train exactly as Sears does, you wanna do Ben's plan, you wanna do my exact training plan that I do in the gym every single day, you can do that on the Morsi app. And then below that we have home gym. So I know obviously the things that went on recently with lockdown, etc. a lot of people are training at home, a lot of people have now got equipment and setups at home. If that's you, there's a whole plethora of plans here. We've basically taken our existing plans and made them more home friendly. So you can do them from your own home gym, your own home setup. In terms of specific plans, so I'm currently, I currently fluctuate between the bodybuilding plan and then my two powerlifting plans. Um, again, we'll recommend plans for you. It's nice, you know, you can have a look at different plans, see what appeals to you. It's nice to try different things. If we go on the bodybuilding plan first, I'm on this already, I'm gonna launch plan, yada, 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 accept that. So it's generating my plan there. Uh, I'm on now the actual workout screen itself. So this is what you're gonna do when you go to the gym, right? So you're in the gym, here we are week one, we've got chest day. So I'm gonna go on chest day, and then here you can see my full session. Now, I've chosen the beginner variation of this plan. If I was to go on the advanced version, there'd be a lot more volume, there'd be more exercises, um, more total training volume. You can see here everything we're doing in a session. Now, if you look to the right of each exercise, so I can click on the exercise and I'm kind of in my workout, all right? 
I can also, this little one here, that allows me to switch. So let's say I go, so I'm on my incline chest press, right? My second exercise of the session, I get to the gym and the gym's really busy, right? Someone's using the incline chest press or I'm in a different gym and my, my gym hasn't got that machine. I can go on switch here and then we're gonna give you a whole list of exercises that replace that exercise. Now, what's really cool here is a lot of other lap, a lot of other apps, when you choose switch, right, or when you wanna change an exercise, it will just give you a million things, right? That doesn't help you. We choose the exercises here that are specific to the one you've switched out, right? So if you're meant to be doing an incline chest press, we'll choose things that are similar, that are reflective of that, so that you're still training the right body part, right? So let's say I wanna switch it for a, uh, so I haven't got an incline chest press, but I have got a, uh, a barbell bench press, right? So I'm gonna switch it for a barbell incline bench press, right? Then I'm into my set. So my first here, you can see I've got, my first set is 12 reps, right? So I'm gonna go on that. I aim to do 12 reps. Let's say I choose uh, I choose 80 kilograms, right? 80 kilograms, and I only managed to get 10 reps. I'm gonna input that. It is then saved. I'm on my recovery now, which by the way, we have the loudest chime in the world. We wanted to make sure you know when your recovery is up. You can turn the volume off if it's annoying and loud, but that will count down your recovery. When that's done, you know it's time for your next set. I'm gonna skip that because that will be boring. Um, and it's put it in there. Now, we store, we track every single rep, every single set, every single workout you do, and that is critical, right? If you are not tracking your training, there is no way you're gonna make progress over a long period of time. We do it for you. So you can see now, that say, that is now my personal best, 80 kilograms times 10 reps, all right? If on my next set, I go 80 kilograms again, and this time I managed to get 11 reps, I'm gonna save that, uh, skip that recovery, and then you can see there, it's now updated it. So my personal best is now 80 kilograms times 11 reps, all right? So you always, have targets, it all has, you know, always have goals that you can try and hit, try and exceed. What's really cool is this is a feature we added recently, is this notes thing. So I can go onto notes there. Let's say, you know, um, I'm training and I notice that, you know, the left side of the bar, I'm kind of, it's lagging behind, my left side is lagging behind, doesn't feel as good. I can add a note and I can say, uh, I'll just call it uh, left side. And I can say, noticed my left side was lagging behind. Uh, I can save that, and then next time I go to do that exercise, I can go on my notes, I'll see that, I'll be like, oh, what is that, what's, what's that about? I can go on it and I can see that my left side was lagging mine. So I'm gonna know, you know, I can make a mental note to you know, rectify that in some way. Maybe I get someone to come watch to, to assist me, whatever it is, but I know that's the case. You know, I could make a note about a machine being, you know, this oh, this machine was heavier than I thought it was gonna be, or this machine was whatever, you know, just, it's really, really helpful because obviously, when you're training, you know, every single day or whatever, five days a week for a long period of time, you forget things. Right, so that's a, a really helpful addition. You'll see as well throughout the app, this little button in the top right here, I can press that, right? And that's gonna download my workout. So occasionally, let's say you go on holiday or you go to one of those weird underground gyms where there's no uh, 4G, you have no Wi-Fi there, you can download your plan, your workout, and that means you can use it offline, right? So you're not reliant on any kind of Wi-Fi or 4G signal to do that. Oh, and by the way as well, anytime, any exercise you go on, you can click here at the top, and you can watch a video of me doing the exercise, right? So obviously with a lot of these, you're gonna to wanna to, you know, have an idea of how you execute it properly, particularly with more you know, complex movement like a squat or a deadlift, for example. There are videos of me doing every single exercise in the entire app, so there's no doubt about how you should be doing things. Oh, and if I go on history here, this just brings up like everything I've done on this exercise, right? So again, this is all new, but obviously if you've been using the app for say six months, you're gonna be able to scroll through your entire history of the exercise. You can see your progress like it's, just very, very satisfying. And again, very useful. So you can see you know, what you've been doing and what you need to be doing next. So I go back onto my plan. Obviously you can see the other exercises, you go onto those, you know, it's the, it's the same format. Switch, add notes, there are your reps, etc. Now you can also navigate, so I can go back and I can obviously navigate on this thing here, which is nice because it's good to be able to see the entire workout on one screen. You can navigate, so you can go onto the exercise and you can scroll through like this. So you can go through your workout that way rather than having to go back. When you're finished, so you've done all your exercises, you've completed everything, you get your completed workout screen. So that shows you know, the total weight you lifted in the session, how many total sets, how many total reps. Obviously I skipped everything there, but under normal circumstances it would have that all there um, you can share that on social media if you want to again if you're using the app like it's always great to tag us on Instagram so we can reshare your stuff it's great it's cool for us it's a lot mad seeing your guys's progress as well 
Um, and then you can see that I've got a tick next to my workout, so I know that, that I know that session is done. And then obviously tomorrow I'm on to I'm on to day two, which in this case is back day. So that is the workout section. Now let's go on to the meal. So obviously the meal plan is huge, right? So again, once you've entered your stuff, we're going to build a, a meal plan for you and your needs. So in my case here, you can see that I'm on 3,040 calories. These are my day one meals. So I go on to day one. Now it. We'll ask you how many meals, like what's your preference? You can say I only want, you know, three meals a day or I want seven meals a day, whatever it is you want. And by meals, you mean total, you know, a snack, anything counts as a meal, right? So I've chosen five because I like to have breakfast, lunch, dinner and two things in between that, right? So here are my meals. Now I can go on a meal, so my breakfast bagel, for example, it tells me all of my macronutrients there, the total calories, obviously, it's got all of my ingredients there and then I go down and it tells me exactly how to make it. So that's pretty sick. I can obviously complete that meal um, and that's done. It's got a little tick by it. If, for example, I get to my lunch, right, scrambled tofu bagel, I mean, I wouldn't eat that, I'll be honest, so I wanna switch it. So I'm gonna go on to switch here, and then I can choose, so let's go for a main, something I would rather eat. I'm gonna go for a barbecue chicken wrap pizza because that sounds sick right now. When I go on here, I can see that my tofu, ba tofu bagel is 900 calories, so I've gotta replace that, right? So I'm gonna choose my chicken wrap pizza, I'm gonna choose 900 calories, and then it's gonna create that meal for me. Again, I've got all my macronutrients there, I've got my ingredients there, and I've got my method how to make it, and I've tried this and it's absolutely sick to be fair. So that's that. Now, I can do things, I can, I can favorite my meal, so we'll give you a meal plan, but invariably there'll be stuff you like, stuff you don't like. You can, you can choose when you set up the app, things you don't like, and we won't give you those, but if there's particular meals, you, you know, some people like eating the same stuff all the time. If that's you, that's fine. You can favorite that stuff, and then you can choose it, you know, whenever you want to, so you're eating the stuff that you know you like. Also for shopping, it makes it easier sometimes, right? So that is all of that. Um, I can add a meal. So let's say, you know, I whatever, I miss a meal, I'll get to the end of the day, or I'm having a day where I'm gonna go out with my friends in the evening, I can go and add a meal, and I can add a meal from scratch. We go out for a, whatever, a pasta dish, I can go and I can add that, I can add the calories, and it's gonna put it into your meal plan. We also, obviously, you can see here, we have vegan and vegetarian, so you can scroll through the whole list of vegan and vegetarian meals, uh, pescatarian, etc. so we cover all of your diet requirements. What's also cool as well as a shopping list. So I go on here, and then you have your whole list of stuff you need to get from the shops, right? So again, you can you can change your meal plan if you want to, to contain things you want, but basically this here is gonna have a list of everything you need to get from the shops uh, when you go shopping to hit all the meals in your meal plan. And we've got some like mad meals. So for example, if I go on like the breakfast, there's some like awesome bits in here. So we've got like, um, American pancakes, these are absolutely quality. We've got like smoothies, we've got like kind of full English breakfast type things. Just loads of meals that, you know, you can get a lot of food without having too many calories. And again, you can get it to suit your needs. So you, if you know you only have 300 calories left for the day, you can just scroll through all the meals in 300 calorie variations and choose one that you fancy that, you know, that fits your needs. So it is extremely, extremely useful. And like I said before, if you're looking to hit a certain goal with your body, so whether that's losing fat or building muscle or maintaining your body weight, you have to have an idea of the calories and the protein and the macronutrients you're consuming. Otherwise, you know, it's a complete stab in the dark and that is what the Morsi app will do. Right, moving across, this is something that I think in particular makes us, you know, better than the other apps out there is our knowledge base. So we have an enormous library of different exercise, sorry, different videos showing everything from like motivation to diet, to fat loss, to different exercises, uh, programming, whatever. So for example, if I wanna see, uh, I wanna know how to squat, right? So. There's a video of me in the app squatting, obviously, right? But let's say that wasn't enough. You want a bit more detail. I can search squat. I go on the squat video. Then we have a full video here of me explaining exactly how to do the movement so I can scroll through to the good stuff. Come on, Matt, get on with it, mate. Here we go. So I'm explaining, you know, foot positioning, like knee positioning, back straightness, whatever. Like, yeah, it's, again, it's very, very useful because particularly those exercises, there's a lot of, you know, margin for error, a lot of risk of injury. So that just kind of clears things up. Even stuff like, so training basics, if I go on that, talk about rest days, talk about progressive overload, like resting between sets, how many days should I train per week, how to weigh in, like we've got a huge number of, of uh, videos. Also, by the way, with all of the videos, we have like an article, so it explains it. If you're in a gym, you wanna watch a video, you can just read the article about it as well. And we add stuff to that all the time. And that goes for all of the app, right? We are constantly adding stuff. Going back to the plans section, like we add new plans to the app all the time. We have a whole, you know, a big bunch of plans coming in the next few weeks. 
Um, so yeah, it's, it's a kind of constantly evolving thing. And we listen to your feedback, that's the other thing as well. So for example, going back to like a, to a workout, we didn't used to have the notes function and we had so many people saying it would be really handy if I could just make notes on an exercise. So we added that feature, same as the offline mode. Loads of people saying, oh, you know, they're in a, a town where the you know the 4G was really sketchy, it would be great if you could use it offline. We added that feature. You know, we listen to your feedback. If there is a feature you want or a change you would like made to the app, we'll make it happen. But yeah, again, going back to the knowledge race, I said this before, it's just, I think this is really, really important because a lot of apps, they almost, they almost kind of make you reliant on the app, right? You're looking at a screen and without your app, you're completely lost, right? The whole point of the Morse app is to, is to help educate you, to, so you understand. If you're on, a, if you're eating a certain way, why are you eating that way? How is that helping you lose fat? Because that's empowering, and that helps you make decisions by yourself. Because obviously, ultimately, the goal is you can do everything yourself. You don't need any assistance, right? So the knowledge base is a place that's going to help make that happen. It's going to explain why you're doing this, why it's working, you know, and what you're going to do moving forward. Then again, back onto the plans. I've gone through these, but yeah, we just have a whole plethora of plans. Again, covers every single thing. Again, we've got loads more. We've got a lot more kind of. I guess female focus plans. We've got a lot of different bodybuilding uh, variations like coming in the next, again, I think probably two weeks time, we're hoping to have those live. Now I'm on the bodybuilding plan. Now let's say I go on my plan now here, right? So I can, uh, if I get say three weeks in and I get, you know, I get an injury or I go away on holiday and I miss a week or two and I want to come back and start again, I can do that. I can go and regenerate plan and that's going to restart my plan from the beginning. If I want to change, so let's say I've been training six days a week, but I've just had, you know, a baby and now I've only got three days available. I can go and reconfigure. I can choose three days and it will regenerate my plan, you know, to suit that, to suit uh, those requirements. That's key as well, right? Whatever your circumstances, whatever your goals, we can we can make that work, right? We will help you hit those goals in the Mortier app, whether that be training or diet or both. Right, moving across to the progress tab. Now, this is a really, really cool one as well, right? So this is where you can obviously see your exercise tracking on the exercises themselves, on the workouts themselves. Here, you can it's kind of like your hub. You can see everything, right? So this is all fresh now. I've wiped it, but if I want to add progress, right? I'm going to go on here. So my body weight, I'm going to enter my body. I'm currently 95. Five kilograms, so I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna add, you can add your number. So here, my current one rep maxes, I'm gonna save those. And then you can add an image. Now, this could be like, you know, an image of you lifting, for example, or whatever it could be. It could be your physique. You could take a picture in the mirror. I'm gonna take a picture of myself right now just to demonstrate this. So here is me. That's an absolutely awful photo. I'm gonna use that photo and then I'm gonna save that. And then you can see there, um, that has now saved that as a bit of progress. So 3rd of March, there is my image. Oh, I look an absolute dork there, but I can go into it and I can see that my body weight at that point was 95 kilograms. There my one rep max is. Um, and you can end up having a whole like range of progress over the course of months. The progress tab, by the way, this is a big thing that we're working on. It's, it's great as it is. We're gonna add a whole massive range of other ways to track stuff, okay? So we're gonna be tracking every single thing you do. We're gonna have it in graphs so you can zoom out and see where you were, you know, two years ago in one specific lift. Yeah, we're gonna, basically, you can track everything now. We're gonna, we're gonna take it to a whole nother level. So again, in the next month or so, be ready for an enormous change there. We're gonna bring something to that tab that you can't get on another app elsewhere. So again, be ready for that. But it's just a very, very useful way because everyone, I, know you, I, I love tracking stuff, right? I get obsessed with like seeing my progress, seeing where I was and where I am now and where I want to be. And that just makes it like so much easier. Oh, one thing that's really cool that I haven't shown you yet, um, this is specific to our kind of more strength focused plan. So if I want to get stronger, let's say I go on the powerlifting plan, right? In fact, tell you what, let's go on to my own Matt's powerlifting plan, right? I'm going to choose that now. When I launch this plan, it's going to ask me for my current PBs, right? So they're my current PBs, right? You've got bench, squat, and deadlift. When I say this, right, our plan is generated. Now, if I go on my first day to my squat single day, right, it is going to tell me what weight I'm lifting. So here I've got a single at 220, 220 kilograms. Once I've done that, I go on to my next lift. So based on your one rep maxes, our powerlifting plans will work out percentages and tell you exactly what you need to be lifting for your set. So we literally lay everything out for you. Again, it's periodized, so as you move through the block, the reps and the weights are gonna undulate, but basically come the end of that training plan, you're gonna be hitting enormous PBs 
numbers you never thought were possible. And yeah, I mean, like, that's pretty much that. The, the key thing is, is like I said, we will give you all the guidance you can possibly ever want. We'll tell you exactly what you need to be doing, but also you have the flexibility. So if you are more advanced and you want a bit of guidance, but you want to have a bit more flexibility, you can do that. You can customize everything, right? You can change exercises, you can add exercises, you can change your meal plan, you can add meals, you can do whatever you want to your plan to make it suit you. But like I said, if you wanted to sit back and have us tell you everything, we will do that. We will give you every single minute detail, everything you need to do to make make progress to hit the goals you want to hit. So yeah, I think that's it. I mean, like that is the Morsi wrap in a nutshell. Um, I think honestly, the best thing to do is just to give it a go. Like I said, you can just sign up, you can use it for a week. It doesn't, it's not like some weird sneaky thing, scam, like you don't pay, right? So you sign up, you take all your details, it costs you nothing. If after six days you don't like it, you can just cancel. We don't charge you, right? But I'm very, very confident you'll love it. Like, like I said, over 150,000 users, the number's going up very quickly, and the reviews have been amazing. Like, people are loving the app, people are making mad progress on the app. We do giveaways, like we've been going for just over a year. We've given away 20,000 pounds to app members for different competitions and stuff. So it's just a great, awesome community to be in. Like, you get contact with us, you're in our like private Facebook group, so we get to chat all the time, we do like live QAs and stuff. Like, honestly, if you are just someone that goes to the gym that is looking to, you know, get in better better shape, get stronger, build muscle, get fitter, just start a routine for the first time, whatever it is, the Morsi app is literally designed for you. We will help you along the way, we will help you hit your goals um, and we'll do it you know, together as part of a team. So like I said, it's the top link in the description. Go and get involved. If you do get involved, let me know. Like I love hearing your feedback, like the feedback, the reviews, it's like the best thing ever. And also, like I said, it helps us because lots of the constructive reviews that have said, um, you know, oh, we'd love to add this feature or, you know, change this element of the app. We've done that and it's made the app better and we're kind of building it together, you know, this whole community, the Morsia team. So yeah, top link in the description, go and get involved, come and join the team, come and say hello to me. I'd love to see you in there. That is the video done, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh.